Hello, this is my first video of the Unitree Go To Robot Quadruped. This is the EDU version. This version, um, which uh, is on all the versions, but this actually has LiDAR. Um, all of the um, standard uh, and the pro versions will have LiDAR as well. Since this one is the EDU model, on top we actually have a 100 teraflop nano NX um, darter board. And we have some uh, peripherals here for connections. As you can see we have USB, we have Ethernet, we have micro SD, um, which will give us um, video output. Uh, and then we have peripherals for cameras and other items um, that could be mounted on this robot. Um, right now I'm just going to demo with the remote here. So we do have a little handheld robot uh, ro uh, control. This control also um, acts as a beacon you can put on your side uh, and the robot will follow you. Um, it's pretty precise. Um, so if you turn like this, the robot's gonna turn like that. But if you're walking straight, um, this controller uh, works that way. Um, but it's also fairly easy to control it this way as well. We also have um, the larger controller uh, that also comes with the EDU model as well as the Pro model. Um, this is a bigger controller you can set your phone into uh, and you'll be able to control it. Um, I can move up a little bit here, but you have a lot of other options um, outside of just the forward and back, left and right, uh, and follow with the smaller uh, beacon controller. This unit also comes with a depth camera, uh, and the depth camera um, is actually in its uh, carrying case here. Um, we got a lot of little goodies here. My depth camera is actually here. Some peripherals. Ah, here's the depth camera. So this is the depth camera. Um, this camera um, will mount on the top here. I do have some hardware to mount this. And what this will do is allow um, this robot to uh, do a little bit more. So there is a camera here. That camera, um, again, only sees so much. It helps you when you're navigating the robot from the app. Um, but the depth camera is going to hook directly into um, the darter board there. And we'll be able to do a little bit of development with it, some object facial recognition, object uh, recognition, environment recognition, uh, and a whole bunch of other uh, items. Um, so what I plan on uh, doing is creating a probably a series um, that allows me to do a little bit of development. Um, connecting to those peripherals. Um, the EDU does come with uh, all the SDKs that you need, uh, which is C++. You can also have Python. Uh, I plan on making wrappers um, around that. Um, and making it where you can use a couple of other languages, but Python is my preferred language anyway. Um, but a lot of the communication and programming will come from this port. Um, the Ethernet, so most likely you'll SSH into it. Um, and load your code into uh, the robot. Um, so, more to come on how that actually works. Um, but I want to give you a quick demo and show everyone what the EDU model uh, is about. Um, you also have uh, this little strap here that allows you to pick the dog up. These are your mounting rails, um, so you can mount various things such as a robotic arm 
um, another LiDAR, uh, and other types of payload. Um, as you can see, this robot's pretty sturdy. Um, you can try to push it. It's not going to fall over. Uh, as you can see, it's able to keep its balance. Uh, as well as that LiDAR is constantly running to help with a little bit of object avoidance uh, in the correct light. Um, these are some pretty stout motors here. Um, but, yeah. Um, stay tuned for more uh, videos and we'll uh, program this guy together. Thanks.